brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. So, uh, I guess a little bit of background. My wife and I are in our early 30s. We have a young, growing family. And in the last year, we purchased her um, family home uh, for my mother in law. Uh, some things kind of changed in our lives recently and decided we needed to, to move home and spend some more time with her. We are currently, I'm going to say, in between step six and seven. So home is paid off. Um, we've been basically banking everything else. We're in a position where now, if we're the gonna home have is paid some... off, you're in seven. Yes. No, no, well, so the, the reason I say it that way, we know we're going to have to do some pretty serious renovations to the house to make it work for us long term. It's it's on you know a decent amount of land. It's in a good school district. We see our family growing there, but there's going to be significant you know, changes that need to be made to support our family long-term. And I'm wondering, is a HELOC the right way to do that? Um, you know, I kind of went into the, the renovation process with the mindset of we do a little bit at a time and, and just kind of pick away, you know, room by room and, and talking to the um, general contractor, the changes that we're going to have to make, that's not really possible to do it that way. So it, it's kind of an all or nothing kind of thing, I think, in their minds. And it's yeah, know, they're, we, they're not got, paying the bill. That's true. Yep. If they <laughs> won't pay the bill, they get an opinion on that. Um, I mean, I understand that they have a structural concern or, or the uh, approach to yeah, the construction, really but yep. but you know they're not taking into consideration your family. So so what is your household income? Uh, last year, low two hundreds. Okay. And so, what's this uh, project? If we looked at it, looked at it in total, going to cost the the current budget is right now one hundred and fifty to two hundred and fifty, and some of that they're not, not going to determine budget. until <laughs> well That's they, they need to get inside inside the walls and inside the attic and the structural things. Oh we're, we're crap! Not to that point yet. <laughs> we're not going to not we're not going to start a project when we don't know within a hundred thousand dollars what it's going to cost. Okay, you don't have a contractor. You got a guy who wants some money. No, I mean, we're going to have this dialed in, in detail, as to what we're going to get into here. We, we, this range, let me tell you what that'll turn into, 350 is what that'll turn into, because this guy's making this crap up as he goes. No, thank you. No. So anyway, all right, we're, let, let's just pretend it's a $200,000 tight, detailed budget that we know is accurate, as opposed to what you're yep. dealing with now. And let's use that. You make 200 Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to break the project down into chunks as small as I possibly can, which is what you were trying to do room by room. You may not be able to approach it room by room. You may have to have another angle on it. You may have to say, okay, the first chunk is 75,000 bucks because we got to do this whole whatever, right? And and then the next chunk is 10 and the next chunk is 30 and the next chunk is whatever. And and just break it out in chunks. And then you save up and do a chunk at a time. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, uh, uh, if the first one is a big one, you hold off until you save that much money making 200 K. Yep. Okay. I'm not going in debt to do it. Why would you need to yep. you make a, you make yep. plenty of money and you're going to be there anyway. So you can do this over time. What are they telling? What's, is there a, is there a danger? Like, is there a, uh, it's inconvenience. I, I think it's a, a convenience thing. Um, I think there's some load bearing walls that, you know, really to do it. I think Mm -hmm. it's going to be the first big chunk. They're going to do all that together. Um, And then I think there are some separate smaller chunks they can break it into. Um, Yeah. I mean, I tell, I tell the guy you're either getting paid or you're not. (laughs) So you're either getting paid a little uh, by little or nothing at all. What's his house worth? Not counting the land. Uh, So that's, that's a harder question. Probably two, two fifty, maybe. The house is worth two fifty, and you're going to pay two fifty to repair it. Yeah, that, that's the, yep. Wow. <clears throat> and, and, that, and that goes back to the, the emotional element of it being a child at home, and it's on a decent amount of land, and would hard, be hard to replicate for that price elsewhere, too. Um, I'm hearing it's you, a bad if, idea. If you don't have a good architect, and you guys don't really spend a bunch of time thinking this through, you're going to build overbuild no you're going to build a horrible property 
because you're trying to take something that was not designed to be a $400,000 property and turn it into that. And so it's, um, it, it's going to feel like what we call a country house where you just add rooms and move walls around. And, and every time some other kid's born, we add another room to it or something. And that's co- yeah. country built what we used to call it anyway. Uh, it doesn't mean that if you build a house in the country, you're doing it wrong. That's not the point. If, if you're doing it this way, it's wrong. I'm afraid um, this is such a massive renovation ratio-wise um, that, that I what you're trying to pull off is very hard to do. Let me say it that way. It's very hard to end up with a great end product that is a reasonable thing when you spend as much on it as it's worth, it's almost easy. It's it's from a tactical standpoint, not a financial standpoint. It's easier to push it down and build something else a lot easier than try to try to take this, uh, clay pot that's already been through the kill and reshape it. Right. That's what we're, it's very difficult to do what you're doing. Um, minor, you know, if you're if you told me you were going to spend fifty thousand or sixty thousand on a two hundred fifty thousand dollars house, you can do that. You can do a lot of stuff for that. That's a different thing. But you're talking about basically rebuilding this whole house, mm-hmm. and you could really end up with a piece of crap. I feel like there's a way that he could do that and still salvage parts of it and it use is, that for the is, rebuild. But I'm saying you really need to think. You need an architect to lay this out so that when you're done, you don't build something that looks like a pretzel. You know, it doesn't look yeah. like old man, old lady in the shoe or something. Yeah. And um, because that's what that's what this kind of stuff, it, it evolves into a grotesque thing that, that uh, all because of the emotion of it being a childhood home mm-hmm. and he made a bad decision. So what you're, it can be done. And I'm not telling you not to do it, John. I'm saying you got to really back back up from this. You got to have a good, solid, detailed, accurate budget that you're going to hold everybody accountable to. We've got to break it into parts that we can cash flow, and we really need a good floor plan, engineering plan, wiring and plumbing plan that we end up with that looks like somebody thought it through, instead of like, well, we need an extra bedroom. Bloom. You know, yeah. That's the jeez, man. That it's it's a mess. So, you 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 really, it's, what you're trying to do is very hard to do for somebody who's never done it before, and and not end up with a mess. Yeah, it's very hard to do. Be very careful, sir. Get every T crossed, every I dotted, everything thought through before you raise a hammer toward a wall, and uh, everything dialed in. Because if you don't, you're going to end up in a financial mess with a bad product. And something that takes years and years and years to accomplish and shouldn't. And then when you're done, you don't have a good thing. Yeah, it's very scary. Very scary. I mean, it honestly is a lot easier to build a house Yeah. from the dirt. A whole lot easier. And end up with a great product than it is to do even a, a 40% or 20% rehab, much less 100% rehab. Yeah, that's... It's just got to feel tough because he's already paid it off. He's paid it off, and then he's, like, demolishing the thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, I mean, a lot of people do tear downs yeah, to get, just to true. get the lot. That's true. That's true. And, uh, but obviously, we're not going to get to tear this one down because it's childhood home. Yeah. But And the, all the emotion, he brought that up three times. So, obviously, we're not bulldozing it. But, um, wow, tough, 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 tough. You can do it, but you really need to lean in on the details. You need to be project manager extraordinaire. Create your free every dollar budget today. The simplest way to budget for your life.